Okay, here we go with video number two. Let's see how bad I can screw up in this one. Uh, pardon me if I cough or something. It's the second day of winter right now in 2017. And I'm just getting over nasty uh, chest cold here. But I want to make this video to show whoever's interested in the scanner that I'm selling how it works. And I might have some information in here that... Uh, the newbie who's going to start with a scanner like this might like to see. Uh, I moved my scan setup here over to another table. I'll use flashlight here to show. This is actually my, my eBay photo table here. And I use black cloth for the background. And black is your friend to have in the background when it comes to scanning. Because when something is black in the background, uh, the scanner generally doesn't pick it up. That's why it's important when you have a part that might have a black area, you want to use some powder on it. Uh, you could use a makeup brush and some like gold bond powder or baby powder or something like that. Or I found that uh, cheap foot spray it like you can get it at the dollar stores or dollar general or something like that inexpensive foot <laughs> i'll say it here foot spray leaves a nice white coating on parts and if they're out of foot spray you can always get uh, it's a little more embarrassing to buy but the uh, jock itch powder is pretty much the same thing as the foot spray it leaves a, a nice powder behind and the scanner then will be able to pick that up. So I went through the setup process on the calibration. I did that again over here. Calibration is real fast with the David HP setup. I have done two scans right now. Two or three scans. I know, it's the cold medication I'm on. And I'm gonna do another scan here for you because I'm just doing them one at a time. So we're gonna get right into it here. I'm gonna click on scan. I'm doing single scans and just merging them together. So the scanner's gonna go through its light patterns. Any streaking you see in this video with light, any, any streaking down this way is due to the uh, video camera here. My phone is causing that. That's not happening that's not happening those bars that are going down is not happening in real life okay so that scan is finished already I will note that I did play around with some of these settings I have this more in a raw mode here I don't have any smoothing added to the part uh, just capturing in a medium detail nothing special so here's the neat part here with this scan setup is if you're doing one at a time or whatever you can look at your scan and see if you like it if everything looks good what you can do is you click on add to list this will move this scan over to the list in the shape fusion software if you want to go ahead with another scan you can go back to scanning you can pretty much do what you want to do with this software and you could move it and take another scan right now uh, for the sake of saving time we're going to go back to scan fusion. Now what we're going to see right now is the last scan I took is colored in purple. When you see these other colors here on this other scan, these are the other scans that are joined together and this is your list of different scans. Your green, your blue, your yellow, and your light I guess you would call that magenta, are ones that I have fused together right now. The neat part about this is if you see one you don't like, you can check on it and you could click minus and you could actually remove that scan from your fused scans. Now this is not a final fuse, this is just an alignment. So that's why it, the data might look a little bit, if I zoom into it, the data looks a little more raw right now because this is just a raw, but you can see the detail here by looking, it picks up the, the very small letters uh, 
bidder on this casting of this uh, quarter scale quick change rear end housing here. The detail with this scanner is incredible. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to turn this a little bit. I move out. You do a right click. Keep that held down. And then you can move it around. So I'm going to do a rough alignment here. This is not a fine alignment. So I turned it so I can see. What you're going to do here is align similar parts. And one thing I wanted to mention that's really neat about doing the scanning. Uh, because this is an item that I want to uh, 3D print. This area up in here is actually damaged on this part over here. So if you have a part that has damage, say you have an aluminum part or something that's busted in half, you can stick it back together. You can, uh, this is clay right here that I, I made it clay, so I made it like the bottom. So when I make this part, I just need to drill and tap here. If you want to get real creative, you could put the hole in there. But for, for this, I put the clay in there. Uh, scanning process doesn't know that it's clay. And uh, you've basically repaired the part for the uh, scan, which is really cool. So let's align. Let's see if the software will align these two scans together. Sometimes if you get real far apart with these, it won't. Most times it will. Uh, sometimes you need to pick another area to get it to align. So right now we're gonna we have it set for contact pair selection. Use surface surface. Can I speak? Surface take some more cold medicine, Bill. Use surface features. Now we're gonna click on align scan. This is really cool. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna click. You see the little magnet there. We're going to track these two points together. We just click there. You see the green dot. And we're going to click on the same place over here. Now, we're going to let the software, it says course. You see, this is a course registration is running. Please wait. Let's see if the software can move these two parts together. And it did just that. It lined them up again. This is a course registration. Now you can see our purple area, the areas that it used from the purple scan. Again, if that scan didn't come out right or something, we could click over here on the purple one and we could click minus and we could remove that. This is freaking awesome. Another thing I like here is the scanning table that I'm using. Since I have marks around it, you can also check your alignment here. And everything is lined up good. Again, don't expect it to look real nice at this point. We are just aligning individual scans. And you notice in this area here, since I am using black, it is not picking that up. This is no problem. This is actually very easy to remove. Let me, me remove an area for you. And I will say that uh, clay is your friend when you're scanning. Right down here, I, I have some black clay. Now, sometimes it picks up the black clay in the scan. Sometimes it doesn't. But it's showing the clay in the scan right now. And since this is going to be turned... You're going to do one series of scans around like this to get all sides. And then you're going to want to take this part and then lay it on its side. So you can catch other angles with the camera, like underneath the fins here of this rear. To get rid of what you don't want here, very quickly before the video ends here. Up here in cleaning, you want to click on this guy here. And I, here's the drop down. I like, I like polygon select because here's what you do with polygon select. Every time you click here, where's my mouse? Arrow. We'll just do a little area here. Every time to show what I mean. Every time, every time you you, uh, what did I do here? Mm hmm mm hmm. Oh, there it is. The lines behind there. 
I screwed up, but I'm not going to redo this. Let me turn this off and do it again. Polygon select. We're going to go here where you can see the dot. We're going to left click. We click the dot. We can click a dot there. We can click a dot over here. We can click a dot there. Now I'm going to right click and it will select the area that you've surrounded. Anything that's red is going to get deleted from the scan. We're going to delete the triangle area and there it goes. So you can get real detailed with this. And we're still selected here. We're going to left click. You can go along and just do like click, click, click. You can, you can just pretty much draw a line around things. And for time saving, I'm just going to go down here, go down here, right click. That area is going to turn red. And we're going to get rid of it. Now really... If you screw up and cut something off here, let's say you cut off part of the part itself. I messed up again. I'm going to have to end the video here. Let's say you cut off part of the part in this triangulation here and you did and you got rid of it. No big deal at all because I'm going to be turning this part around. I'm going to be repositioning this part over here to get the detail on this side and it will just get added back in. So there you go. I'll put a picture of the finished scan in the ad, uh, but I just wanted to show you how easy it is to work with this. And I really like it. And thanks for watching. If you want to email me directly, I do have my email address listed below and can offer uh, some better deals directly. Okie dokie. Thanks again for watching. Enjoy.